Hey, what's up my cruisers? Welcome to another adventure. If you haven't seen my last video where I camped at Vermilion Cliffs, I'll link that in the description. You can also click up here. But for this video, we'll be going to Monument Valley, which is in Utah. It's on the Navajo Reservation, just so you guys know. And we'll be camping at Valley of the Gods. So the closest main city to uh, Valley of the Gods is Bluff, Utah, and it's around 15 miles from here. And we'll be entering off the east entrance off the 163 highway. This is the entrance to the Valley of the Gods. Only thing is, that entrance is kind of hard to see from the highway, so if you're coming here, uh, just make sure you turn when the GPS tells you to because it's a very tight turn too. So, I'm staring down right now and then we're going to head out. Hey, if you're still watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to show some support. We gotta go the other way because the Google Maps took me over here, but I think there's only like three or four camping spots over here. So we're gonna go try the other side. So yeah, we ended up just going to some campsites. So I ended up going further down towards Battleship Rock, I believe, to camp over there. And it is a 17 mile unpaved road. So plan for at least an hour to two if you're just gonna go here and not end up camping for the night. So just keep that in mind. For the most part, you can do the 17 mile road in a regular car, but if it's inclement weather or like wet, I recommend just using a 4x4. Another cool thing about Valley of the Gods is unlike Monument Valley Road, you do not need a permit and there are no fees to come in here. Let's go! Well, I made myself this awesome campsite right here. Right behind this right behind this boulder right here. So I'm gonna spend the night here. Wait till the sun sets so you can guys get a nice view of that. Tonight we're gonna eat chili and beans MRE. Shout out to my buddy, my bro. Hooked it up with all these MREs back here. You guys can see, got a whole bunch of so pretty much my footage from trying to cook the MREs got destroyed from the cold weather. It just froze my GoPros. So while I was making dinner, um, just check out the scenery that this place has to offer. It's truly awe-inspiring. Something that you can't really explain until you go here.
it's also pretty cool how these four rock formations are formed there's like a i don't know what it is a vulture or a crow flying up in the rocks right there when i took this video but this was once a seabed folks so it was made first uh see their mesa sandstone and then when the iron from the water when the sea eroded became this valley which made these cool shapes that you can see right now in this video and it's just amazing to see you know the rock formations and the lions from over time mm -hmm. for millions of years that's my dinner dinner chili beans and crackers it's cold out here it's gonna warm me up cold out here in Monument Valley guys. See I got reflectics out here. Try to keep it warmer in here. But uh got, got one more piece up and then uh we'll be good. I'm trying to get comfy for bed. Early the next morning. Morning y'all. Made it through the night. Extremely cold. If you come here in the winter time bundle up make sure you have a zero degree sleeping bag because it was super cold so yeah it was extremely cold that night and just so you know again i'm going to mention you can't use any campfires here so don't try to make any campfires and i believe this rock formation is called battleship rock i'm not really sure but it might be it bruh See, my truck wouldn't start, so I'm trying to jump it right now. Hopefully it's just the battery, not my alternator or anything. My alternator should be good. Could be my starter, but I changed that out like three years ago, so. Hopefully it's just the battery, because it's cold. So, I'll see. So there you go folks, even though it was cold, I really had an awesome experience camping at Valley of the Gods. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment down below, turn your notifications on, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Alright, the Easy Cruiser out.